How hello, welcome to Let's Play Last Dream. Uh I oh okay, doesn't use the stick, it uses the D-pad. Okay. That's all good. Uh one second, just uh, uh, yeah. Uh, auto dash and FM oh fast forward. Okay. Not really. Wait. Direct input game. Uh. Remap. I don't know what that means. Oh, let me see. Uh. A, B, X, Y. Okay, okay. I, I like control. I like control support. That's my favorite thing. Okay. Uh. So it's action. Cancel. What is that? Menu. Dash. Okay. Okay. What is that? Okay. It's. Let me just test something. Let me just test. Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh, okay. 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 So it's bumpers. Okay. L1 and R1 are the bumpers. Okay. Not the triggers, but the bumpers. Okay. So page up, page down. Okay. Fast forward is select. Let me just double check that. Okay, that is select. Okay. Just want to make sure it had it in, in here, right. Settings start. Uh, let me see. Can I... Uh, can I... Just, just for funsies? No? No. Yes. Oh, that would have fucked up the whole game for me. <laughs> okay, anywho. Alright, enough... Enough menu hopping. Let's get into the game. Uh, new game. I've never played this before. Never played it before. Uh, character selection. Press dash buttons. Knight, monk, thief, hunter, engineer, black mage, white mage, gray mage. That gray mage looks bad. I don't know that black mage. Uh, well, I can't help it. I go with the thief. Confirm character selection. Yes. Oh, no, 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 my friend. No, no, no. How do I... Ah, yeah. That sounded... That sounded nasty. We, uh, always... Or less. Ah, da ba da ba Alright. Now we're set. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, I get to make a party! Okay, I'm the leader. Oh, my God! Mm. Damn. Okay, I am... Right. I'm guessing if I understand how, like, Final Fan- well, I don't know about the Engineer, uh, or the Hunter. Those are kinda- I'm guessing those are unique. But, like, these six, that's just, just like the original Final Fantasy. If you're old enough to know what the original Final Fantasy was like, or if you just have an emulator, and were smart enough to play it. Or if you had a PSP and had the Anniversary Edition on the PSP. Anyway, I think 20th Anniversary? I can't remember. Anywho, um... I'm guessing this is your main frontline, you know, tank. Uh, this, the Grey Mage is obviously a mix of white and black, of course. I mean, well, you're okay. If you don't know, because I'm, I'm, I'm get, I'm not guessing you don't. I'm, I'm only being precautionary that you don't. All right, white Mage is your healer. Black Mage is your wizard. You know, and the gray mage is a mix of both. Okay, so ma basically, the white mage has curative and supportive and protective magics, mainly, and the black mage has uh, offensive, defensive, and uh, you know, blow shit up stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and of course, the gray mage is a mix of, of both. I spilled blue cheese on my keyboard. That's all right. Was it on a button? I got it. Okay. Anyway, I'm eating a salad. Yes, fat guys eat salads. Screw you. <laughs> Wait, I need more salad. Oh, oh god. Yes, I'm eating with my mouth full. I mean, chewing with my. I mean, talking with my mouth full. God damn it. Okay. Um. Okay, so I have to have. 
I've always done this in Final Fantasy, so I didn't take any of the special characters. I might do a playthrough one day with just the special characters, So, but I'm just going to do the main traditional party mix. Knight. Uh, I don't want to name you Knight, but I don't know what to name you. That sounds nasty. It sounds like... You don't want to know what I think it sounds like. Okay, um... Um... Okay... Uh, Shut up, Facebook. Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at names. Okay. Uh, okay. Definitely need the healer. Yes. White mage. <sighs> um. Pretty pink. Mm. Um. Sorry, I just lost my head. I was just thinking about something. Um. Oh God, I hate names. Um. Uh, I don't know why, but just this just popped into my head for some reason. Uh. Oh. Uh, forgot. Okay, that's it. I couldn't remember how to spell it. Okay. For some reason, I don't know. And Black Mage. Duh. Oh. Can't you give me like a name generator thingy? Oh, I need something cool. ending laws. Uh, but I'll gain more experience and more gold or whatever the currency is faster. If I go rare, I'll have an easier time. Uh, but I won't, you know, you know, I won't level up as much. Standard, I'm assuming, is whatever is the baseline they're using. Uh, screw it, I'm gonna grind this bitch. Difficulty. Oh, so, so easy. I need it easy, dude. Save. Oh, I like that. Save anywhere, yeah. I like having the options. Include cutscenes, yes. Although, you missed the intro cutscene because I didn't know how to, I didn't know it was coming up, so. If, you could just go online and look for the intro. Alright. Yeah, I just went to the title screen, you know, started from the title screen. But there is an intro before the title screen when you start up the game. Alright, watch intro. Wait. This might show what you missed before. I'll let you know if it wasn't what you missed before. If it's not, well, then you'll have to just go online and look for yourself. Because I'm lazy. Screw you. <laughs> nope, this is not it. Uh, Arliss, uh, me, or uh, whatever. Uh, hey, kid. Hey, kids. Okay, I'll just... <coughs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> Salad. Yeah. Uh, hey, kids, I'll be right back. I'm going to collect some more firewood. I'm going to get some wood. Ooh, I'm going to get some wood for the children? What the hell? See if you can count back from 60. From 60? Katie. And, Katie. And then we'll make s'mores. Okay. That music's a bit creepy. Why am I in a... Am I, am I in, like, a bathing suit? Oh, I, I'm not doing anything, by the way. I set an encounter to grind, so you're gonna get your ass jumped, dude. You're gonna get your booty ganked, huh? Oh, dish. Better head back. Looks like a sudden storm has arisen. You don't say. God, why am I so dumb? I knew it. I knew it. I knew they would be gone. I knew they would be gone. I don't understand. I don't remember any of this. 
Ah, jeez. God damn it, that scared the crap out of me. Ooh, a helmet. Oh, when am I going to find my suit of armor throughout the beach? What is this? Ah, stop it. Stop scaring me. Ah, stop it. Stop it. I don't understand. You couldn't have picked it up. A sword and shield. Get, go, go. So, oh, my bones. Are... Go. Distant voice. Hell. Go get the helmet and the sword and the ship. Could it be? Okay, I'm still not playing. Where are you? Don't go in the water, dude. Please, where are you? Oh, oh, please. Please, where are you? Okay, I didn't realize it. I know. Wait. I know where I am. Where do you think are you? Wait, where do you think are you? Where do you think are you? What? Where do you think are you? Where do. That doesn't sound right in my head. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna skip it because I don't feel like dwelling on it. What? Must swim. Oh, must swim back to shore. Like Captain Kirk. Hell! I'm the victim now? I feel like I'm being discriminated against by, by a game. Please help me! The water burns my throat. What kind of water are you in, dude? My only regret is leaving the, my kids' fuckers. Ah, uh, gurgle. I'm drowning! Why am I drowning? Why am I drowning? Ugh. I'm still alive? How am I still alive? Good, he still he still breathes. Good if he can, oh. I was gonna call him that. Ah, uh, ugh, my head. Are you clothed or hairy? I think he's gone. Dante. I think he's gone, okay? Is someone there? Help me, please. Uh, this is weird. You're lucky to be alive. I need to get you back to, to Oakwood. What is this? What is this? Game's obsession with wood. Can you stand? I can pirouette if you want. Douche. I think so. Shouldn't have been a question mark? Eh, never mind. I think so? No, no, I think so. Okay. I was just thinking about punctuation for a second. I need to rest because I'm lazy. How much further is it to this town? Oakwood, you said? We're getting close now. It's only another five miles. Oh, wow, it's another five miles! Alright, I guess I can make it that far. Okay, I'm not as lazy as I thought it was. I'm not as lazy as I thought it was. Yes, let's keep going. I mean, moving. Okay. <laughs> Take two! What the hell? Uh, yes, let's keep moving. These woods can be dangerous. Of course, woods. Never mind. Oh! Okay. What the hell was that? That's exactly what I was thinking, dude. Me. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Can I? Come, it's almost morning. We're, we're almost there. What the hell? Two suns? Where am I? You're on Tatooine, dude. This is like before the... One of the suns went red giant, I guess. Like, uh, sorry, sorry, I was just going... Out of my head for a second. Calm down, I know it's confusing, but I don't believe you're ready to hear the truth yet. Let's just get back to town. Calm down? You've got to be kidding me. As I see it, you don't have much choice but to trust me. I have plenty of choice not to trust you. Fine, let's move. Never trust someone that says, just trust me. And so Arliss arrived in Oakwood. <laughs> <clears throat> Makes me giggle. Our story starts a year after that fateful day. Uh, in the previous year, Arliss has befriended three locals who help in weapons training and beast hunting in the sewers and around town. Yeah, in the sewers, yuck. Arliss still has little idea where he is, and Dante refuses to reveal what information he seems to have. The journey is started by what appears to be a small event, the kidnapping of Dante's daughter. No. <clears throat> 
And so the four reluctant warriors, Arliss and the three locals, start their journey knowing what awaits them. This has a lot more backstory, way more backstory than the original Final Fantasy. This is not a Final Fantasy game, this is a Final Fantasy style game, obviously, with graphics on par with 3 slash 6, which I love. <laughs> 3 in... It was called 3 in the U... In case you don't, you're not up on your Final Fantasy history, kids. 3... I, when I refer to 3, I'm actually talking about Final Fantasy 6. 3, the 3 I played for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which, if you want to know more about it, go look on the Digino Gaming YouTube channel. This is not a collaboration. It's just me blabbing. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Super... The SNES, or SNES, or whatever you want to call it. Super NES. I don't care. Anyway. There was six at that point. There were six games released in Japan. One through six. But not all of them were... Uh, exported to the U.S. Like, give me a minute with... Okay, cycling through. Okay. <sighs> anyway. Uh, so, when I say three, I'm actually referring to the Japanese six, but because only a few games were... In, in fact, there were actually two twos, <laughs> which is funny. I don't remember which one is which. Uh, the NES, which was the original Nintendo, you know, what I call the original Nintendo, they had Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy two. I never had Final Fantasy two until I had them on the PSP. But anyway, uh, and then... On the Super Nintendo, the first Final Fantasy game was not Final Fantasy 3, you would think. It was Final Fantasy 2, but it wasn't the Japanese Final Fantasy 2. It was uh, either 3 or 4? I don't think it was 5. Maybe it was 5. I'm th for some reason, I'm thinking it was 4. I'm thinking Final Fantasy 2 in the U.S. for the SNES. <sighs> wow, that's a long-ass lecture. I'll, I'll wrap it up in a second. But anyway, but anyway... The Final Fantasy 2 in the U.S. for the SNES, I think, was the Japanese uh, Final Fantasy 4. Uh, but anyway, the Final Fantasy 3 in the U.S. for the SNES was Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. Okay, I think I've made my point. Now we get to continue on with the story. Playthrough? Why not? I'll learn how to play. And this, I'm pretty sure I said it before, this is Last Dream. A recent... Okay, welcome to Terra. In this... Oh, that itches. Okay. In this tutorial, I'll explain everything you'll need to know to start your quest. Josh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me start that over. Uh, welcome to Terra. In this tutorial, I'll explain everything you'll need to know to start your quest. Josh, game mechanics expert. I like that guy already. Uh, nearly all game settings are controlled via the settings menu. All the settings are saved when you exit and will automatically be re reapplied when you continue playing. Josh, game mechanics expert. Oh, I like him already. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Allows. Wait. Let's start by learning to configure the in game controls to remap in game controls. Access the settings via. Menu via the title screen, through the main menu, or by pressing the escape. Uh, by pressing escape in game, or I think pretty sure it's a start button too. Uh, ch choose keyboard map or gamepad mapping options to remap the in-game controls. Okay. Uh, in the keyboard mapping section, you can remap all the in-game controls using nearly any key on the keyboard. Okay. In the gamepad mapping section, you can remap all the in-game controls with access to all the buttons on your gamepad, including the analog sticks, analog stick, and directional pad. You can easily change the screen resolution by access to screen resolution option. You can change between windowed full screen modes and also change the size of the screen. Okay. Music volume section of the settings menu, you can change the volume of music, background music, sound effects, musical effects independently. You're long winded. In the window skins section, you can change the color of the menu and text windows. Okay. Oh my lordy loo. Uh, in the auto dash and FF section, auto dash and fast forward options can be toggled to require the button to be held 
or whether to be automatically on at all times. Okay, I like on at all times. Uh, furthermore, you can also change the fast forward speed. I know. The direct input gamepad compatibility used when old used for older gamepads, okay, that don't support X input, okay. Uh, if your gamepad doesn't work with the last dream, then turn the direct input compatibility flag on. Okay. I'll be done. Uh, to aid you in your journey, you can quickly open the map menu through holding the cancel button uh, for approximately one second while, while on the world map. I think that's about... that's enough about screen resolution and in-game controls. Why don't you try moving around? Use your mapped in-game controls to move up, down, left, and right. Can I, I can't do that now, okay. Show me your basic movement skills by moving to the locations... to the location of the blue diamond, green X, and red circle I have created. So blue diamond... blue diamond, red... Blue diamond, green X, red circle. Talk to me once you have completed this task. Oh shit. I blue... I'm pretty sure it's blue diamond. Oops. Blue diamond. Uh, X. And red circle. Uh, oops. Okay, it was green X. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> you... Did you know that you can move very quickly by dashing, holding down to... Da holding down dash on your keyboard or gamepad to run quickly. I know. Show me your dashing skills by moving uh, to the blue diamond in less than three seconds. Okay. Very good. Did you know that... Uh, okay. Red circle. Ah, uh, from the... Oh, okay. Very good, you've mastered movement. <laughs> you don't say. Okay. Uh, oh, hexagrams, okay. Uh, another important control is cancel, which is mapped to X. Okay, I'm not, I'm, okay. On your keep. oh, X on the keyboard, okay. In addition, you can open the main menu with menu. Finally, you can quickly switch between characters by using page, uh, oh yeah, page, that's the bottom. Okay. Okay, uh, you can quickly switch between characters by using page up, page down, uh, to move left and right respectively between characters. Okay. Oh my goodness, you remember you can remap your controls? I know you told me that already. At any point by accessing the settings menu, you, you missed a, you missed an N. It thanks me, me, you, thanks me, you. I'm, I'm gonna tease you for that. Okay, another helpful feature is the automatic game reset through F12. <sighs> Those are all the controls. Please proceed north to the next area. Finally, some action. Josh, you're a douche. You have, a, you have an eye, an eye patch. There. Oh, you're not going to go through that whole thing again, are you? Thank God. Okay. Uh, pretty flowers. Um, ooh, hello. You've learned about the basics of movement, so let's move on to something a bit more exciting. Thank you. You'll be, you'll need to be well stocked to survive in your journeys. Treasures abound in the towns and dungeons that you'll visit. Mm. I've created a treasure chest for you. Why don't you open it? Uh, move to the chest and then press Action Z on the key. Okay, and, uh, to open the chest. Mm. Yeah, I got five coins. Wait, let me see some. No, no. Okay, I, don't, I guess it only works. But, uh, I thought you said... I thought you said I could. Okay, wait, wait. What is... Wait, wait, I just want to see something real quick. Wait, where's select? Select. That is not helpful. Ugh, nards. Nards. Be gone. Wait. Oh, I know, what'd I do? Okay. How do I... Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, shit, I was skipping. Without a thief, your chance to get caught by the city guard starts at 1% and increases by 1% for each chest that you open in town. Ooh. Sorry, I missed those few first few screens. I thought it was going over it again for some reason. 
Keep in mind that your chance to get caught is shared across all towns. Oh, lovely. Therefore, if you open five chests in Oakwood, you have five percent at and try to open a chest in another town, your chance of getting caught will be six percent. Ooh. That's cool. Chance of being caught chance to be caught is known as your wanted level. What is this? Grand Theft Final Fantasy? Okay. Uh, and can be reset for a price at the Thieves Guild hidden somewhere on Terra. Ah. I've created another chest for you. This one is locked as any chest in town will be. Please open it. You're very demanding. I don't like attempting to pick the lock. Lock picked. Potion. It should have waited to open until after I said it said, you know, attempting to pick the lock. Okay. Now wait. Very good. You'll notice that a text box displayed the text attempting to pick the lock. This appears each time you open a chest in a town. Remember, if you have a thief in your party, you will never arouse a. You will never arouse the suspicions of the city guard, and you will always be safe. If you have... Wait, remember, if... Uh, I'm, I'm confused about that, but I don't know. Without a thief, you run the risk of having to fight the city guards with each chest that you open. But I th thought you said... Uh, you're ready to continue to the next lesson. Please proceed to the north. Okay. I'm so confused. Oh, dude, really? You've learned about acquiring chests, but you can't use items you gain from treasure chests without understanding how to use them through the main menu. How do I access the main menu yet? I think I'm just like the Y button here. Okay, this is the in-game menu. Okay. Oh, that like it is. This is not my party. I did not choose Monk or Hunter. Anyway. I'll find out momentarily. Ah. Uh, oh. That's not, not my kid. Not, not my party, okay. The upper left menu options are listed. Okay. Um, top option is items. From the from this menu, you can view and use any items you have obtained through the course of the game. <sighs> Second option is equipment. Here you can change the weapons, armor, and accessories that are equipped to each of your characters. Skills, the third option is skills. Here you can learn skills and acquire skill points, SP, uh, as well as view and learned, as well as view and use learned skills. Lastly, you can equip skills to skills slots so that you may use them in battle. Mm. Level up. Fourth option is level up. Here you can assign the ability points, AP, that your characters earn when they level up. Unlike many games that have predefined parameter increases for each character upon level up, the characters in Last Dream will gain a preset amount of AP at each level up. I like that. You can freely distribute these AP between various parameters. Me likey. Fifth option is Bestiary. In the Bestiary, you can see all the enemies with which you have engaged in battle. Me likes. In addition, a hunter with the scan ability allows you to see. Uh, the precise enemy parameters after scanning an enemy. Okay. The sixth option is battle macros. This option allows you to set a bat, uh, set a macro for or predefined collection of commands that can be issued to all of your characters through a single command. Oh, nice. For example, if you wish all your characters to do a regular physical attack, then you set such a macro inside a battle macros menu option inside the okay uh and select it while in battle to save time nice damn it's got some nice features all right the seventh option is collections here you can see data on treasures collected equipment s synthesized uh fish caught puzzles completed buried treasure found treasures found excavated chambers opened locations visited and more Ooh, it's got some nice dynamics in it the eighth option is achievements. Here you'll find additional challenges that can be completed for those players who want an extra challenge. Challenge twice it seems a bit tacky, just saying. Rose. The ninth option is Rose. Here you can choose. Oh, okay. Rose, just to, to, to reorder your party. Uh, well, not. Well, like front or back, you know. Uh, the row in which you're. 
in row in which a character stands affects the probability of that character being targeted by enemies, with the front row being targeted more often. You don't say. <laughs> Scrolling down further, you'll see more option menu options. Really? Awesome. Okay. Game option. Okay, the tenth option, game options. This will allow you to change all the game options that are set at the beginning of the game, encounter rate, difficulty, saving options, and cutscenes. The eleventh option is party. Uh, it allows you to change the order. Okay, that's the one I was thinking of. In which your characters... What could have been... A, uh, appear in menu as well as in battle. In addition, you can remove characters from your party if you want an additional challenge. No, don't want an additional challenge. No, thank you. Although one man thing could be epic. Right. Twelfth option is settings. Here you can change certain options such as screen resolution, key mappings, music volume, and window color. Wow, that dear job just tutorial. If at any point in the game you need more information regarding game concepts and mechanics, see this option. Wow. The fourteenth option is cutscenes. If you have cutscenes turned on, you can rewatch all the in-game cutscenes at any time through this menu. Maps. The fourteenth option is maps. Here you can view the world map and various levels at various levels in locations that have been visited are labeled. Camp. The sixteenth option is camp. Sleeping bags, tents, and cottages. That is a... I like it. Uh, can be used via the camp menu option. <sighs> A lot of reading. <clears throat> While on the world map to save and partially restore. Your part is HP and MP. Okay. Note that camping only works on the world map. If, if you're... If you're... Uh, <laughs> if you're a, f a veteran of these type of games, you'll know that already. Okay. Seventeenth option is... I thought that was... No. Okay. Is save. This option will only be visible if you choose to save anywhere option. If available, you can use it to save your game at any time through the in-game menu. I like that a lot. I hope that brief synopsis of the main menu was helpful. You can now proceed to the next area to continue this, the tutorial. Uh, wow, you're wordy. By the way, when you spend skill points to acquire passive skills, you don't need to equip them. I'm guessing passive means they'll work no matter what. Okay. Uh, I don't like talking to you. You're mouthy. Now that you had have had a brief summary of all the main menu options, you will have the option to explore the full tutorial menu. Would you like to expose the room? I'll do it for the video, jeez. Uh, so, uh, do I have to do? Okay, can I just leave? Okay, no. Okay, we done now. And no. Very well. Uh, if you ever change your mind, you can see to yeah. I, I don't. I'm, I want to play the game now. Please proceed north to the next area. Oh god, I want to play the game now. I didn't expect to talk to, 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 to take care on your journey wherever it may lead. Does that mean it's over? Yay! One thousand whatevers. Ah, okay, I was right. One thousand whatevers, yay. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh damn. That's nice. Oh wow. Wow, this is awesome. I just so, oops. Alright. Oops, okay, so I'm on that little island there. I can't I just want to see. There we go. Okay, there's a bridge. Okay, there's a couple of bridges. Okay. That's gnarly. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Okay. Let's see what the town looks like. Oh, that music. Oh, I like it is. Down a little quick. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It, oh, I thought that was a sign. Alright, before I go 
let's... Wait, whoa, what's, our, what's our equipment like? I pressed on a button. I don't have any weapons, what the hell? I have to go shopping. Oh, jeez. Uh, ooh, lady at the... Why is there always a lady at the well? The well is too deep to see the bottom. There's a ladder climbing. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. I remember when you first arrived here and you were too weak to venture outside the town to hunt monsters and instead had to go down the well to, into the sewers to battle the spiders. Ew. Eh, uh, yes. Mech. I don't have any weapons. I don't have weapons. I don't have weapons. Who is you? Who is you? Ma monster remains collector. I am collecting large quantities of various monster remains. I'll buy all of your monster remains if you'll let me and I if you'll let me and I'll I pay the same prices as any item shop. Okay, how do you know what the prices are? You must travel a lot, dude. <sighs> Wait. So I'm 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 gonna go with no. Alright. Must be in the market before I if you change your mind. Okay, that means I can go back to you. Okay. Well I'm item shop. Wait, that's all you do? Oh, it's just the item shop. Okay. <sighs> Wait, what monster reins do I have? Valuables? Oh, okay. Oh, so I don't have any. So selling him would have garnered me nothing. Okay. Uh, I need a weapons. We need, we need weapons. Uh, okay, there's... Is it weapons and armor? Weapon shot. The stock is fairly poor. Okay. Rusty sword, rusty dagger. Okay. Uh, warp the bow. Why can't I use the bow? I want to use the bow. Warn whip. Gnarled stab. Fascinating. Utterly fascinating. Eh. I want you. Why can I not use bow? Ugh. Okay, wait. Let's see what, let's see what the armor is like. Ah, there it is. Okay, alright, let's see what the armor looks like. I'm, I'm back, by the way. Yes, there's some I have. I have used equipment currently. Ew, used, really? Bye. <sighs> One blast plate. Uh, torn robes. Old shield. Tattered cloak. Wreathed hat. Rusty helm. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, rusty gauntlets. Oh, nice. Uh, worn shoes, rusty boots. I have no idea what those stats mean. I like the HP. Is there anything else that does HP? Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, I wanted to show a battle, but the shopping... I'm gonna have to do the shopping out of the video, because it's gonna, you know... Ugh. Well, we can't, I can't do battle, but, alright. I'm gonna have to end it here, because then I'm gonna, have to, I'll do a little shopping, then I'll put this game up. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed episode one. It turned out to be a big, giant teaser, uh, pretty much, because, you know, I barely started, technically. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Last Dream. Oh, this game is awesome. Alright. I'll be blogging about it. Check out my blog. Follow my blog. Whatever. I don't know. Add it to your reading list. I don't know what it's called. I don't really do blogs. I just write one. Uh, but anyway, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and, you know, say how dumb I am in the comments. You know, say how goofy. 
you know, how, how wrong I am. How wrong I am for playing these games. How, mu how much I'm wasting my life. Okay. Um. Trying to think. I need to make, like, an outro checklist of things to say. You know, not a script, but just re reminders of things, you know, I have to say. Which, I'll do that later. I'm too lazy. Okay. Wow, this game looks good. Uh. Okay. Alright. Um, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this. Oops. This. You, I hopefully didn't see that, but anyway. Anywho, thank you. Awesome. Oh, that's cute. Okay. It's so compact and adorable. Sorry, you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, I'm losing my idea. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.